Welcome back everyone. I'm Jewel and today we're in the Giants Editor and we're on the Jewel's Peaceful Valley map. It's called uh, this 4x map right now but that's just the one I downloaded that was blank and then I added my DEM to it to make the hills and things and this uh, waterway and then of course I added water but I got to make another one in Blender. That's a temporary one and I want to show you these fields and obviously it's not going to look like this necessarily I was just jotting some fields down to give you an example of something but we're going to be doing fields soon but we're not quite there I'm trying to decide some things and we're probably going to move some of these cell points that I put down or at least marked out I'm thinking I really should put one over here about right up in here so I can access it from both sides here we're not gonna have a ton of stuff over here but we still got to have it over there and then I'll probably put one here so I can access it across here and I'll probably put a bridge that comes across here as well somewhere maybe over here closer to the edge and we'll have an access there so these things can access it and then we'll have all these extra ones we got laying around or have laying around and anyway I appreciate all new subscribers welcome to the channel go ahead and smash that like button if you like these tutorials and the map making and the Giants editor uh, we'll be doing some simulator games soon so stay tuned for that if you haven't seen them I do Ranch Simulator Farming Simulator 19 and 22 Culver's the game and Trailer Life Simulator 1 and 2 and some other things demos and things so check it out in my playlist and basically we're going to get started I'm just going to give you some ideas about the sizes of these fields this is a 4x map and these fields if you look they don't look that big if you really look at it and you think well that's not that big but it is it's pretty big and you can see these over here look really small they're not all that small either and this one and there's one over here that's even smaller but it's not that small so we're going to go in and have a look. Now don't that look really small? Look how little that is. But guess what? That's the size of the field of Elm Creek. So we're going to jump over to the Elm Creek map. And this is the field. Same size. So you, the house would have been here. These are the two they give you. And this little one. And look how little that looks. And you go back to the other map. That's the exact same size even though it don't look like it from here. It's actually the same size as that. Actually, it's a little bigger once you actually get in game. It's actually a little bigger. It looks bigger in game. So, but I'm not going to take you in game. Just take my word for it. It's way bigger in game. Everything you see here is way, way bigger. Way bigger in game. I'm going to drop you down first person mode. And you're going to see, it, and you're not going to see it as big as it would look in game. But it's pretty big. Okay. So we're going to come over here. Now this one, look how much bigger it looks than it was. See it? That looks way bigger than it did a while ago. Now look at this little L-shaped one. If I can find it. There it is. Look how big that is. That's pretty far. And when you go out of that view and you come back out, look, that don't look that big. But it's way bigger than it looks. And in game it's even bigger looking. It it feels like you run and you run and you run. Before you ever get to the end of it. And you come on these and these are way bigger. Now these are the main uh, farm that we're going to be doing. Let's drop on down so we can see. Now these are pretty good. They're a little bigger than what you're used to. On some maps for a, a starting farm. We could always downsize, but I think that's decent. Then we have this one. And it's still pretty big. And it was a little square if you'll look at it when we go back up. Look at that. That's pretty big, and I'm running fast on this. If you see. Alright. Now I'm going to run on over to this other side real quick by these trees. Where are they? Let me see where these trees are. Oh, wrong way. Where are the trees? There they are. These trees. Now this field over here, look how big it is. Look how big that is. It's huge. It's like it never ends. 
just goes and goes and goes and goes. Look at it. It's big. But now watch what happens when we come out of this view. It's not even that big. Look at it. It's way bigger. And you get in game and it's even bigger. I'm telling you. It's humongous in game. So my point in this video is to show you the sizes of these fields and, and make you understand on a Borax map or any map if you're painting it down in the giant editor, it's actually going to be looking bigger in game. So you need to be careful because it looks are deceiving in the giant editor. See this round field? It don't look like nothing's here hardly. But you get in game and it's pretty decent. It's actually pretty decent. We drop down. Look at that. Still pretty good. I'm going to just run at a regular speed and look how big that is. That's pretty big. I mean, it's not too big for 4X, but it's pretty big. I mean, that's a decent amount. So, be sure that you think about your sizes. And a good rule of thumb, let me get out of that view. Go ahead and come back up. And we'll show you something. All right. The smallest field, which is over here pretty much right now, that's almost the smallest field of Elm, Elm Creek. So I'm back out a little bit so you can see something. And this field over here approximately is the second, or about the size of the big one on uh, Elm Creek. Let's go in there. This field here is the smallest. But when you come out up here, look how small it is. See how small that looks? And then you see the biggest one, roughly speaking, is this one. And if you come down to it, let's get on down there to it. Whoop, flipping y'all around. Wow, driver. All right. Let's get on over here to the edge. Let's drop on down. Now look at that. That one's pretty decent. Look at how big that is. And that's the biggest one they have. Okay. Pretty much. So... So we don't want to go too much bigger than that, you know. You could, and, and we can a little bit. It's a 4X map, but you don't want to because of the pricing. And then, yeah, you could change the pricing. You can do that if you want to. But I was going to try to leave most of that pretty much the same. And keep the field sizes at a reasonable size. Because I feel like too big is just way too big to be dealing with. I mean, are you really going to take that much time to harvest a field all day long it takes a while to harvest some of these fields so let's escape out of that and go back up and look at it and that's the biggest field but if you look at it go ahead and go over the top of it and turn on your square brush type and we have the radius at a hundred turn on one of these here to put your cursor out you'll see it's roughly a hundred on the squareness on that part it's roughly two of these and a smidgen okay so if you put your radius at a hundred and put it on the square one that's roughly going to be the biggest field in Elm Creek so you'll know that when you're on your map so let's we'll turn that off go to our map my map we'll move over okay and now we'll come back a little let's put it on a hundred type it in put it on the square and then click it on here and now there you go now I'm gonna show you see see this one isn't quite that it's it, if you it depends on how you add it up one of these and one more would have been two of them and look over here this one is pretty close to it that one's not quite long enough but it was almost the exact size of that biggest field so the point is we'll do it here one there and one roughly speaking there and I don't think that's the dirt let me move it let's move that back come on that's animal mud let's put it on dirt alright let's go back over that one of those and one of those roughly speaking that's the biggest field on the Elm Creek map so and that's pretty big. Remember, we went in, uh, well, I went in game and looked, and this field feels like it just goes on forever. 
So, and some of these round ones, they're pretty big. They're, they're decent for this map, that about that size there. But, so my, my goal or my uh, point is for you to understand not to make your fields too big. So, if you okay with that size in Elm Creek, and you don't want them to be any bigger than that, then that's about what size you need to make it. And then you can look at this, and you can change your size of your radius and bring it down and get it more kind of what these are if you want some of these and that's like 32 roughly on that width and then you would say well it's about one and a half so then you would do one and a half of that and then this one a little bit smaller you'd have to look at it and see it's about 26 or so you could say 27 and that's probably three or four of these probably three and a half so it would give you an idea you can measure by this radius and it would give you an idea so this is like 47 and you would do about two of them to get that size of a field and it just gives you something to go by when you're making your field so you don't go crazy with it and obviously you can make some smaller ones like these and if you want to go bigger than this one maybe you want to go twice maybe you want to go add this much and this much then you would just turn it on and measure the full width of it so we'll go on up to like 1 15 or 20 or 30 and see all right a little bit bigger more like 160 or 70 maybe even 80 Oop, 90 okay so about 195 to get the width of that roughly speaking so if you wanted it to be roughly speaking double that size go to like 195 or 200 and I wouldn't go much more than that that's a pretty big field so just remember that if you was to go that big it would literally take up the space of every single one of these fields here so just keep that in mind when you're making your fields. So soon I'm going to be plotting out fields. These aren't necessarily where I'm going to put everything unless uh, everybody really wants it pretty close to that. I'm not really. I was just throwing some stuff down to give examples and shapes. And, and I was looking and testing length and width and how it looked in game. But it these here look really big in game. And it, it's just insane to think look how little they look compared to these but and when you get in game they look so big they're really big they're at least uh, was meant to be the size of the Elm Creek ones but they seem a little bit bigger than the Elm Creek ones when you actually look at it in game but I'm not gonna take you in game because it just takes up too much uh, gigabytes or whatever space and it's harder to upload this over here looks like a little mushroom got a little face going on here it looks like uh, that just happened accidentally <laughs> that almost looks like an ear here but but we're gonna be plotting them out obviously I can erase these I wanted to just show the scale of it and the size of it but what what I'm gonna do on an, on another episode shortly is I'm gonna move these some of these cell points because I think I've got them a little too close to in the inner of the map and I want to put it out here so I'm gonna put one about here one about here I think I'll keep that one there these here potentially I could potentially put another one over here we'll see but at least gonna put one there and one there or one here and one there so that I can space out because I need some cell points on these parts where these people are going to be or these fields are going to be because there will be a few fields there there's going to be some forest there's going to be a couple fields it's not going to be a bunch of fields you know but there's going to be a couple and there may be more than a couple because these are pretty big like I say if you look those are big so these are way too big for this area this is just an example it doesn't look like it come coming from up here but when you go on the other map and you realize how these are and how big they really are or small depending on which one you're looking at that's the main game ones and look how little they are and they're pretty decent sized fields and this is the biggest one of Elm Creek and it's it's pretty big 
So, but that'll give you an idea about measuring them out. We're going to be painting them down, and I'm going to be deciding. I don't know if I'll do it all on one episode, because it's going to be quite a bit of stuff. But if you're going to get ready to do a 4X map, and, or even a standard, don't make your fields too big. Unless you're going to change the price in all the farmlands and field stuff. Because when you when you buy the farmland to, to get that field and everything, you can change that price. And if you didn't see the farmland video I put out, it was the last video I put out, or the second to last video, uh, check it out. If you watch the whole thing, you'll learn a lot. I show uh, troubleshooting in the middle of it, and how to what some errors are, and how to fix them, and show you how to do it, and uh, just have a look at it and see. Now, obviously, you're going to want to do it more neatly. I was doing it quickly, and you're obviously going to not put everything as... A lot of the stuff I left is non-buyable just to save on time. You would actually paint that in and actually make it a farmland. But if there's certain areas that you need to be non-buyable, then that's what you that's the way you would do it. Is how I showed you. But that was just an example to show you how to do it, not necessarily making it perfect or anything. It was just a quick tutorial to give you an idea. But anyway, check that out and check out my default. Uh, it's basically the vehicles. Uh, it's, it used to be called default vehicles, I think. And now it's just called vehicles. But basically, look at the video. Um, I, it should be out by the time this one comes out. Uh, there's a video showing you how to get your starting equipment and your like tractors and harvester and seeder and all that kind of stuff on your starting farm. How to set it up, park it where you want it to be, and have it uh, put in the game. Whenever someone starts, they have that certain equipment that you chose, and you need to add the seed to any equipment or fertilizer uh, to any equipment before you place it there. I didn't in the video, but you should add it before you put it in the in, to, in the place you want it. If you want it to have any fertilizer, or if you want it to have any seeds already in it. If not, that's up to you. But check that video out. Hopefully it helps some of you. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. The channel is growing quickly and I appreciate every single subscriber. I'm probably going to just call that a video here and be plotting out what I'm going to do about my fields. And then we'll start another video showing me either making these, changing these, or erasing it all and starting from scratch on the, on the field part. And then putting them smaller. I'm going to put a lot of them smaller than they are, at least these, these sizes. And, it, and, and it's not going to look right from above, but in game, it'll feel a lot better not having too big a field. Now, this will be close to the biggest field, or we'll have it maybe just a hair bit bigger, since it is a 4X. But we're not going to go much bigger than that. We're going to try to keep it less than these. These are really big in game. These don't even look big, but in game, they're really big. So, be prepared for that. And check it in game. Do one field, paint one down, save it, put your career start point there, and go in game before you do it and look at it and see how big it actually is. Maybe even paint a small one down next to it to show you the size. But I'm gonna call that episode here. We're gonna we're gonna make this all the way we figure out how these fields should go and what shapes we want. But I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.